Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for the next upgrade to my project Shmi Mobile, the Toyota GR Yaris. Now I said when collecting this car that it was going to be quite the project and go through a number of modifications. We started with the visual appearance in terms of the livery at Dub Customs, which is inspired by the 1990s Toyota Celica GT4. This being a WRC homologation, it needed a rally livery. It then recently got a new exhaust system up at Miltech, the Miltech non resonated OPF back system which sounds the part and today we're going to be fitting a styling kit from Giacuso out at Evolve Automotive. So I need to head out of town to get to Evolve's workshop where we'll be able to see the parts that are going to be going onto this, the lower sections, the splitter, side skirts, wrist spoiler and some more as well and then we're going to see how this looks after. I think it's going to be pretty good so let's hop on board, get out on the roads and go and fit the new Giacuso styling kit on the GR Yaris. The little GR Yaris is living right down here on the bottom level of the garage, but it should sound pretty good in a moment with a cold start with that new Miltech exhaust. Now this is a pretty mean looking little hot hatch to begin with. The GR Yaris sharing very little with the standard Yaris beyond the lights. In this car, it's completely new bodywork. Obviously the WRC homologation and all that side of things, lots of openings for cooling, perhaps a few too many kind of fake vents, but the styling is still kind of cool. It's got a very wide wheelbase, those wide arches, and it looks the part, which is why we're going to make it look even better later on. But let me come through so we can have, as I said, a bit of a cold start of this because it should sound pretty nice in here, I think. I'm sorry it's so dark. I will squeeze into the car. It's keyless, so it unlocks as you touch on the handle. Step inside here, and let's take a listen. Right, let's get out of town, get over to Evolve, and I'll show you the parts that we're installing. One of the good things about this car, at least, is being quite so small, it is very easy to get it up and down the garage, which is why it lives right down on the bottom floor, as opposed to the Taycan or the G63, or something that would be moderately less convenient. Now we're heading to Luton, just outside of town, to go and do the install work at Evolve, where I've never previously been, but have met the guys quite a few times, always up to interesting things and projects and creations of their own right. So we'll get over there and go see what we can do with this up on the lifts and get to work with it. I'm not gonna lie, that was not exactly a particularly exciting drive out of town so far. A lot of traffic at the moment everywhere, of course, more people taking cars everywhere that they can possibly go. In fact, let's drop it down to second gear, get a bit of noise out of this for a second. <laughs> Enjoy it, need to take it easy for a little bit more mileage, but we're getting there, just about at the run-in stage. Gentle cruise though today, heading slightly out of town, enjoying the car. I do wish it had an armrest though. I feel like my arm is kind of floating around awkwardly. I got used to having armrests in the Focus RSs, which is the closest competitor to this car. This car versus Focus RS would make for quite the interesting back-to-back. -back. Get to a national speed limit. There we go, at least now you hear the sound from behind, not so much from the speakers here, because I say behind, obviously the exhaust back there, the engine's up front, but the speakers just, it's a bit weird with the stock sound, because outside there was basically nothing, whereas this is a significant step up. Anyway, half an hour to evolve, we'll get there, meet up with the guys from Giacuzzo, and get to see what these parts are like and then get them installed. As it happens, I have been driving through pouring rain over the last couple of minutes and now we're out the other side into the sunshine, which is significantly more pleasant. I need to work out exactly where I'm going, but hey, nice open dual carriageway, good opportunity. <laughs> this is just one of those cars that's just fun. Every time it's just an entertaining drive from how much feedback it gives you. <laughs> ah, fun and games. Right, not very far to go, two miles away. I think this is like GR Yaris territory, slightly greasy terrain, four wheel drive system. <laughs> not having to go too fast. One of the beauties, of course, is that with only 257 horsepower, you're not gonna find yourself into silly, illegal territory 
in a very quick way so you can basically just enjoy it without feeling constantly like you're having to hold back a little bit here then at a bulb where the sun has popped back out the guys are very quickly helping me to clean this thing up because it got a little bit dirty just with that moderate downpour that it had along the way and although it is a rally car and would look cool if it was incredibly filthy for the purposes of installing various parts on this it would be better off if it's uh, a little bit less covered in gunk and grime it's going to be getting a new splitter side skirts diffuser and a spoiler at the rear which is all just being unloaded inside at the moment we're here at evolve there are always some very interesting cars and projects around including the Aventuri side of things which we're going to take a look at as well with the gr yaris that's just tucked inside. So quickly get this sorted out, then we'll get it inside, and then it'll be time to go take a look at some of those bits and pieces. It is actually surprisingly loud, that little rasp that it has. So the car is going to come on inside, where we're going to go and take a look at some of the parts then, while it gets put up onto the lift back there, surrounded by some very nice stuff. Like I said, I'm going to go have a look at Aventuri in a moment. New M3, but come on through here to see what we've got. What we are looking at here then are some of the parts of the Giacuzzo kit that is going to be going onto this car. We've got the spoiler attachment, we've got the front splitter, the parts of the diffuser, believe me this is going to look so good afterwards, and we have the side skirts over here as well with a, a bonnet lurking, but anyway, these are the parts with the lovely red pinstripe detail made over in Germany, brought over here for the purpose to be installed now, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing the result with all of this. The back of the car here has the spoiler to begin with. This will sit in place over the top and be installed. And that instantly looks cool. Rally style wing on the back. <laughs> That's a good look. That is a really, really good look. So that will be attached and uh, obviously all the other parts as well. This goes down into place. The spoiler has now been secured for the time being, of course, just to hold it in place while everything sets and gets ready. The car is being lifted up so that work can start around the diffuser, which I've always found a little bit odd when you look at this. Obviously, we now have the massive three-inch tips as part of the Miltec exhaust system, the non-resonated OPF back that we installed just the rear sections um, with a much larger tip, polished tips in this case, than the standard system and just all around looking much better, to be honest. But this will now be flanked by some additional components that will make it look much better around here as well. Um, I think that's going to suit this very nicely. Look at that spoiler up in the air. Next up, the diffuser add-ons, already the part over on this side, obviously gives it that touch lower look and the red pinstripe fits very, very well with the red livery that we have on the car also. It's always quite fascinating to see underneath the car and to take a little bit of a nosy look around at what's going on, but this is going in the right direction. With those secured, the next part is the central piece, which of course will sit something like this between the exhaust tailpipes looking pretty good if you ask me making the car taller and lower at the back as well that's gonna that's gonna be nice and the way it shapes around the exhaust tips as well i like that time for the big piece the front splitter that will be held up with some tape afterwards as well obviously this gets lined up right around the front Front splitter on, and I'm very, very pleased about the color matching. This is absolutely spot on. To do the side skirts, these little flaps come off. The mud flaps sitting here, because of course they are going to be replaced with the new parts. The car is going back down to the ground then, before installing the side skirts to make life a little bit easier. Thankfully, the skirts do have a little cutout, of course, for the jacking points. That's cool. Just that top lower to the ground. Nice. The side skirts are now in place and this is one fantastic looking GR Yaris. As I said earlier, significantly meaner and more aggressive than the standard look, suiting it perfectly with the front lip. That red pinstripe runs all the way around. And if we come towards the diffuser, now that it's down on the ground, check this out. I love the way that it houses the tailpipes, obviously the gloss black perfectly matching the red details and just giving it that slightly more aggressive look back there. And of course this, the rally-like spoiler it's being held in place for the time being while it settles well it will only be a matter of seconds for you guys for me i'm going to be leaving it overnight and coming back tomorrow to collect it before going for a drive obviously with the car out and about but just pulling that spoiler up and outwards at the back that's what a hot hatch that's wrc inspired as this should look like and of course in the middle of the car there is the plaque down there the gr wrc 
badging that you have in the middle. What a cool thing. But this is, yes, yeah, still, I guess, technically at the start with this. We've got wheels to think about, suspension to think about, seats inside, the rear seats, perhaps some other details on the exterior as well. But very much the little fun hot hatch that this is supposed to be. For now, though, a huge thanks to Gio Cuso for coming over, getting these parts installed here at Evolve. For now, though, I'm going to head back home. We'll be right back with this to take it out for a drive. Fast forward to the next afternoon and I'm back at Evolve with the GR Yaris, although the weather today is absolutely atrocious. One minute it's actually quite bright sunshine, the next it is pouring with rain. So the car for the drive home, well, let's see how that goes. For now though, let's have a quick look at this. Looking fantastic. We've just been taking off the masking tape that we had left on the Giacuzzo spoiler yesterday. That is now all completed, set in place, exactly as it should be. Much, much cooler than the standard. And of course, the rest of the kit all properly attached as well, from the diffuser parts to the side skirts and around towards the front. This thing, is already looking very, very cool. But it's just, I guess, effectively the start of the project. There's a lot more to go. And one of the next modifications to this perhaps could be a visit over here to Eventuri, where you'll spot their Toyota GR Yaris getting a carbon fiber intake. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in the future. For now, though, I'm going to hop back on board the new Schmeemobile. I think we can still say it's still technically, as I said, being run in. But let's get this out on the roads, go have some fun, and take it back home. Right get this started. It has that weird pause before it starts. There's some cool stuff in here, by the way. G80 M3, previous M3. That's just letting us know it's cold. Mini GP3 next to me, M5s, M3s, everything all in here. Right, this is bubbling away. Good stuff. They did a lot of BMW M stuff over here. Yeah, we can get through this one slightly like, can I fit through that gap? But of course I can. I'm in a little Toyota GR Yaris. We have no problems at all. This sounds cool when it's running that cold, cold start sequence. The bubble. Oh yeah, that's the thing I've just done. You probably just watched me looking oddly like this because you can't see through the rear view mirror. It sits right here in your eye line to the left. It's a really, really irritating position. But hey, I can't change it. It is what it is. So let's uh, rock and roll. Get on out of here. One could certainly argue that this weather is very much GR Yaris territory. And the amount of grip that the car has is what it's so famed for already. Now I've not had an opportunity to absolutely boot it down country lanes in this kind of weather, but I think this is probably part of why it is immediately proving to be quite such a success. And to be honest, getting back in and just getting slightly more accustomed to the exhaust sound, this is what it was missing from standard. Being able to actually sound like a sporty car rather than, I mean, other than the speakers inside, not exactly far off an EV or something like that as it was before. Um, unfortunately, this weather is really, really miserable today, but I'm heading from here for another errand, actually, quite an exciting errand in connection with the Museum and the solicitors and the legal side of things. I wonder what's inside that trailer. I always wonder when you see car trailers around, you never know what it could be in single car transporters. So I need to go check, catch up with the solicitors, sign off some stuff, and then um, from there, it'll be onwards back home. Out onto the open road. <laughs> this is cool. It's just engaging, you know, things like having a pretty short throw on the shifter, things like the sound that it now makes, the steering feel, you know, not having too much power that you end up in a world of massive torque steer, nothing like that going on. 257 horsepower from stock. Throw it round a roundabout. <laughs> it grips and grips and grips, and this is pretty wet. I think on fairly cold tyres on the centre, there is no way I'd want to do that, <laughs> that's for sure. Whereas in here it just kind of works, it's just it's just fine, it just soaks it up and life is good. I tell you what, and I'm a bit jealous of my uh, friends Misha and Robert over at the Nürburgring of course. On a wet day at the Nürburgring, this would be a fantastic car to drive around, really. This would just be, it would just turn a miserable day into an absolute riot and just be entertaining. And part of it is because you're not putting 
you know, so much at risk like you are with an expensive supercar. Not that this isn't an expensive car for what it is, but obviously a significantly different story to a McLaren or a Ford GT or something, for example. Yeah, it's a good car, and now it looks the part even more than it did before. And that's, I think, a big part of the fun of the project, is building it into something, building it into something epic, and that is certainly what we're working on. Well, what a crazy and unexpected day. It's now a pretty nice sunset over in that direction, having just a couple of minutes ago had hailstones and very, very hard rain. This, however, is, of course, the perfect car for the purpose, looking incredibly cool, thanks to the Giacuzzo styling kit that it now wears. And we will be back quite soon at Evolve again for some more to come with this in addition to what I might have been teasing already so far in this video but I'm very very happy with the way that this has turned out I think it looks the part already it's great to start with some of the visual elements of the car before of course the engine is fully run in and we can start to talk about that as well along with wheels suspension brakes engine upgrades remaps intakes you name it there's a lot to play with when it comes to the Toyota GR Yaris and I think we'll be seeing some more of that a little bit soon so thanks to all involved thanks to Jim Kuzo for getting the parts over here, for getting them fitted, and of course to Evolve as well, the opportunity to you put it up onto their lifts. As you can tell, probably it's pretty cold here, so I'm going to hop back in the car, head on back home. That's it for this upgrade, this part of the project that is the Schmiemobil Toyota GR Yaris. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support an awful lot, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!